Hey YouTube, it's Katrina, and I hope that you're doing well. I'm starting to feel better. I can actually talk without coughing right now. And uh, because I missed Book Monday, I'm going to combine Book Monday with today's Awesome Tuesday. So, awesome thing, awesome person really, is BC, who did my vlog yesterday. I could not move. <coughs> And I could barely speak, so I'm sorry if my voice is like, uh, right now. But, the book that I'm going to review is What a Surprise. It's another Rick Riordan, Riordan book, The Red Pyramid. And this is book one of the Kane series, or the Kane Chronicles. I'm just going to read to you the short description that comes with the book. Since his mother's death six years ago, Carter Kane has been living out of a suitcase, traveling the globe with his father, the brilliant Egyptologist Dr. Julius Kane. But while Carter's been homeschooled, his younger sister, Sadie, has been living with their grandparents in London. Sadie has just what Carter wants, school friends and a chance at a normal life. But Carter has just what Sadie longs for, time with their father. After six years of living apart, the siblings have almost nothing in common. Until now. On Christmas Eve, Sadie and Carter are reunited when their father brings them to the British Museum with a promise that he's going to make things right. <coughs> Sorry. But all does not go according to plan. Carter and Sadie watch as Julius summons a mysterious figure who quickly banishes their father and causes a fiery explosion. Soon, Carter and Sadie discover the gods of ancient Egypt are waking, and the worst of them, Set, has a frightening scheme. To save their father, they must embark on a dangerous journey, a quest that brings them ever closer to the truth about their family and its links to the House of Life, a secret order that has existed since the time of the pharaohs. So, um, if you've been with me for a while, you'll know that I first read the Percy Jackson books and then started on The Lost Hero, and then I read The Red Pyramid. <coughs> And this is a trilogy. The second book is already out, but the third book is coming out next year in 2012. And I'll give you a shot of the cover. I'll show you what the cover looks like. <coughs> so, the way that this book um, is narrated really is the two characters, Carter and Sadie, take turns talking to the reader which it's actually technically not supposed to be a reader, it's supposed to be as if they are leaving an audio recording for a special person, you know, that's meant to find this audio recording. And um, the book is over 500 pages long, and I personally didn't really like the whole, you know, them switching the microphone back and forth and stuff like that. I, I like a, you know, an outside narrator, <coughs> but um, I think it would be very entertaining if it was an audiobook, and it was really great learning about, you know, the um, Egypt, you know, all of the pharaohs, the gods, the goddesses, the um, history of Egypt very quickly, because I know zero about Egypt, really, I mean, I find... Um, King Tut really fascinating um, and I actually mentioned this in a previous vlog when I talked about sculpture that's at the CIA headquarters that involves information about King Tut's tomb but other than that I really didn't know very much about Egyptology I guess you could say so this book was very informative for that and it, it is very different from Percy Jackson, and um, I guess that's because I felt like, hmm, I don't know. Again, I am partial to Percy Jackson, but uh, this is a very entertaining book, and it is very, very sci-fi, of course. And it might be a little... It might be a little too much. <laughs> it's a little bit much to take in um, if you don't know anything about Egyptology. As strange as that sounds. So, um, this is getting up to five minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. 
But if you're looking for an entertaining book, The Red Pyramid, I will say that even though it is very thick, it is a fast read. And it would probably make for a really great movie. Yeah. So, that's what I'm going to say about that. And I know that I would normally go into more detail, but I need to rest. So, I hope that you guys are doing well, and I'll see you tomorrow. I hope that you have a great night. Bye.